can you describe what was going on when you guys had that 35 to 4 run at the end of the first quarter and half of the second quarter? Uh, yeah, it was great. Uh, it was our defense, uh, and that's and we had the pace in the game. So uh, we said before this game we need to run. So that's what we did. What is it about this team that just you go off? I mean, I don't know if you know you got the best record against the Western Conference than any other player since the NBA AB merged in 1976. Yeah, I didn't know that, but <laughs> yeah, I mean that's great. I don't know what to say. So that was great. <laughs> Luke, I saw a few times uh, after defense possessions, you're looking over the bench and you're, you're, you're pointing over there. You're trying to make sure something's noticed. Like one time in particular, you're, you're denying a guy and it ends up, I think, being a turnover. Uh, that's just my jokes with Sweeney. Uh, he's now offensive coach, so uh has nothing to do with him on defense, but, you know, I was just joking with him. So Sweeney, then the defensive rank thing for you is over than if he's the offensive coach. Yeah, no, he ranks me on offense. Which is way better than defense, probably. Uh, you're scoring a little under three times as many points on catch and shoot jump shots this season. You mentioned that was an area, an area that you're focused on in the off season. How has that translated so far for you? Do you feel? Yeah, I think great. I mean, as you see, you know, I think people didn't believe me, but it's true. Uh, you know, uh, working on that and just. It's a way easier shot than a step back, so that's what. That's the beauty of it. Did you have to kind of train yourself to feel like you're in rhythm catch and shooting? Not really train, you know, just get get shots up, you know, just not doing always the step back, just catch and shoot, just getting the shots up, and you know, when my legs are fresh, I feel very good. How much advantage do you guys talk about this being an in-season tournament game and you can't go down? Over two after losing last week in Denver. I mean, yeah, as I said, you know, uh, you have not many games for this in season tournament. Uh, so it's good we got to pull this one out. But uh, every game matters, you know. Obviously, you have a lot of games, but I think our star has been great, so every game matters. What, what did you think when you saw the court today? Which one? The one? Normal? Oh, yeah, yeah, the normal courts. Oh, I mean, I don't know. I think ours is not too colorful. So I think our ours looks good. So um, hopefully I can see, see it next time. Look at what, what positives from tonight would you like to see carry over in this four-game road trip? Uh, I would say defense in the pace we have. Uh, I think our defense was good today. Uh, just a little bit too much fouling, uh, but the pace we had was great. So that two things. Luca, how does your uh, your pregame push-ups? I noticed you've been doing a lot of those lately. No, I just did two games out of eight, nine. I mean, yeah, you know, sometimes I just don't want to make the guys push up, so I miss the half court shot on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> but Dante Exum provided a spark, like with his on ball defense. And, you know, he played alongside you and Kyrie in the three guard lineup. What did you see from him uh, today and so far this season? I mean, great. You know, he brings the energy. Uh, he knows how to play the basketball. Uh, I'm watching him in Europe the last couple of years, so he's been playing great. And, you know, I think he's he's going to help us a lot, you know, especially uh, when some players are out, you know, it's a long season, so he's going to help us. He's going to help us a lot, I think.